Declarative device management automates the enforcements of policies, laying the groundwork for a more secure and manageable future. Already, these new workflows have enabled managed software updates in Jamf School, Jamf Pro, Apple Watch Management in Jamf Pro, as well as responsive inventory by the means of status updates. But it's clear, we still have a lot of work to do. We are keeping our focus on the specific ways declarative device management can make you more successful. And we're investing in our platform by building flexible architecture and services behind the scenes so we can be more agile and deliver more quickly. So let's dive in to what we've been working on. Introducing Blueprints, our latest innovation that redefines device configuration. For those of you thinking, I've heard about Blueprints, you know what, you have. It's common in the industry. Apple has Blueprints and Apple configurators. We've had Blueprints in Jamf now for 10 years, and now some competitors have it too. But today we are introducing Blueprints in a whole new way powered by declarative device management. Blueprints offers a supercharged future approach to managing device settings, commands, app installations, restrictions, all in a declarative manner. Within Jamf Pro and Jamf School, you'll have the ability to choose from one of our templates for more common tasks or a more custom setup using our Blueprint Builder to meet your specific needs. So let's explore what we can do with Blueprints. I'd like to welcome to the stage my colleague and consulting engineer, Misha, to give us a live demo of Blueprints. Okay, Misha, are we ready to do this? Live demo. Okay, so we are gonna log in and we will go to the Jamf Pro homepage. It worked. Our work here is done. Okay, let's go ahead and navigate to the Blueprint homepage. For now, you will only see single declaration templates here, but rest assured we will be building this out based on your use cases and needs over time. But let's go through an example here. Let's pick one of the most highly used, most requested declarations, passcode policy. So Misha, why don't you go ahead and select passcode policy. Now here, we'll be prompted to just simply give this blueprint a name and a description. So in the future, you can easily search for this in your library and go next. Now we'll simply select our scope. Blueprints will support both static groups and smart groups, and it's important to note that your declarations will stay up to date even when moving between smart groups. So for this demo, let's go ahead and select a smart group, all managed devices, and next. Perfect. Now this is where the magic of Apple's declarative framework kicks in. You will have access to all the properties that Apple has released in a given declaration. We know that the NIST guidelines requires a minimum passcode of eight characters long. So let's go ahead and set that, Misha. We're going to select enforce passcode, minimum passcode length, eight, and select next. Boom, just like that. We just created our first blueprint within a couple steps. Now, before you go ahead and deploy it to your scope devices, you will have the ability to review your blueprint. You can check your component, verify your scope, and then when ready, let's go ahead and click deploy, prompting your users to update their password if they no longer meet the new requirements. So that is using our templates. Now let's do a more custom setup using our Blueprint Builder. So Misha, let's go ahead and navigate back to the homepage. And at the top right, we will select Build, blue, blue, build Blueprint. Now this is where I get a little excited. You have the ability to drag and drop components to build out your Blueprint. So again, for this demo, you will only see declarations. 
but the possibilities are endless. We will be building this out based on your use cases and needs. So let's kind of continue with the same scenario as enforcing a passcode. So Misha, let's go ahead and drag and drop passcode policies. Perfect. Now let's say we also want to disallow the ability for external storage drives to be plugged into our devices within our fleet. We're gonna go ahead and grab one of Apple's new declarations, disk management. Now just like the previous demo, we'll go ahead and give this blueprint a name so we can search for it in the future. And now let's go ahead and configure those blueprints. We'll enforce the required policy as well as the minimum passcode and next. And let's do disk management, external storage, disallow, and next. And one last step, let's just choose that scope. Let's go ahead and select a smart group, all managed devices, and there we go. We have just created a custom blueprint. Once again, you can review your blueprint by verifying you've selected the right components as well as your scope. And once ready, you can go ahead and deploy it to those scope devices. With this user-friendly, powerful configuration framework, we'll be able to deliver same-day support on Apple's new features that much quicker. We're really excited for how Blueprints will enable you to easily harness the power and flexibility of declarative device management. Now, don't forget to join our commercial and education State of the Unions later today to hear more about Blueprints. So let's give Misha, a round of applause. Thank you.